What's going on YouTube? Day back again. And today, um, as promised, I am going to start doing some more reviews of vape products. And one of those products, I was actually contacted by a company that I thought was new, but on their website, they actually say that they've been around since 2016. I'm not sure what the parent company is, um, but they came out with a new pod system that they're claiming to replace the Jewel. Now, I will be honest, I never had a Jewel because it was too much upkeep and and the fact that you had to do the pods and buy the individual pods and I've heard the flavors weren't that great. So I kind of stayed away from that. And now that I have started back to vaping, um, I really wanted to try out these pod systems, especially using the salt mix. Now they do have a full pod flavor system on their website in four flavors. We'll go over those here in just a second. And these are in 5% which translated is about 50 milligram per pod, which is a 1.2 milliliter per pod. So it's uh, within both US standards and uh, EU standards, because I think theirs is a, a two milliliter maximum. So in full disclosure, they did end up sending this to me for review. Now I have seen a, a few people do a reviews on these. It's been pretty much small channels, but I'm happy that they felt confident enough to reach out to me to do this for you guys. A lot of the channels seem to be younger people doing the reviews on them, which I don't have anything against, but a lot of them are trying to do lung hits and big clouds. And that's not what these are intended for. These are intended as a stepping stone of quitting smoking and to fix that cessation that you have of wanting a cigarette. I'll be fully honest. Some of the flavors I don't really like where other people fell in love with them. Taste is subjective, so keep that in mind. Uh, the one flavor that did come with this that I thought I would absolutely hate uh, because I'm not a mango person, uh, I actually fell in love with. It was my favorite one. It was the first one that I ended up killing off and I've got a little bit left in the pack. Do keep in mind though that with the mango flavor, there is a menthol backing or mint backing. Uh, I can't quite pinpoint it, but it's got that minty menthol backing to it. So the first time you hit on it, it's kind of going to shock you because you're going to expect a mango flavor and you're going to get a mango flavor with that in there but I find it really satisfying. I think since I was really into the vape scene and doing the big mods like like these guys, which I still end up using, and um, I, I've really found these smaller systems with the higher nick and the salt nick in there, just really satisfying, especially at work. I can just have this in my pocket and you know just take a toot once in a while and be good where with those uh you can keep hitting it and you just keep hitting it until you get that satisfying um satisfying feeling from it so without further ado i'm going to jump down to the table show you what all that they ended up sending in to me let you know my thoughts on the fit and finish of it and then we'll come back up all right so what they ended up sending me was the actual unit itself which is the battery and the charger cable and information and then a four pack of pods now one thing i would recommend to the company and i think i said it in an email to them is they sell their pods in just flavors only i didn't see that you could get a variety pack and i think it would be a good thing for them to put up a variety pack and maybe sell pod uh, pod packs that are bigger than just two most people that i know would it would end up using and buying at least four at a time now the nice thing is when you spend $35 or more, you actually get free shipping. I don't know where they're shipping from here in the US. I know these came from DHL from China, but I don't know if they have a distributor here in the US. Uh, another recommendation right off the bat to a V-Folk would be that I think it would be good on their website if they put the information that I ended up having to hunt down and found on a website that was selling these. And the information that they have is that the battery in the device Device is actually a 350 ma battery of course the pods are 1.2 milliliter the atomizer has a ceramic heating coil that can uh, has a resistance of 1.4 ohms they're saying that you can get up to 500 puffs off of each cartridge and it outpoints 3.7 volts now again I haven't tested this and I don't I, I don't have the setup to be able to test the output on there so I would leave this to someone that is professional like DJ LSV vapes 
Uh, just see if he ends up getting these and whether he tests them or not. They are saying with the battery pack that it is a scratch resistant and durable. Uh, I found that it is a aluminum body that's on there. Uh, I know a couple of people said that they thought it was plastic. Just do your testing on there. It's just an aluminum shell that's on there. So let's take a look at the unit itself. It just comes in the slip. Now it does have several colors that it comes in. Navy blue, pine green, live coral, champagne gold, scarlet ruby, space gray, lavender violet, and classic black. So sliding this out, you get a guidebook. It is overly, overly simple, but you can see on here uh, for the instructions on interpreting the light uh, that you get a, a different color depending on how the battery is. So it says that the white is for charging, green is for fully charged, red, I think that's uh, 10 blinks is a low battery. Over inhale signal is three blinks. And then the light, I'm assuming that that's the different colors for uh, battery percentage. I I'm not sure, it depends on how bright it is. I haven't noticed a change in it, whether it be fully charged or whether it is where right now I'm trying to run it dead and I'm going on two and a half days of using it and it doesn't seem to be dead yet and the light hasn't changed color right now they only have four flavors though I spoke to them and they are working on other flavors but it comes in mint tobacco coffee and mango you got a warning on the back and one of the things that they came to me about and said in their advertising is where the jewel can leak liquid and most pod systems can leak liquid they are guaranteeing that this has a 90 i think it's 98 percent chance of never leaking on air um, and it does look pretty secure as far i haven't had any leakage come out of it or any kind of condensation on the inside of the pod anything like that so i gotta give them some credit for that so in the package you get the battery itself and then you get a charge cable and actually the charge cable is pretty nice it's really rough though um, it is a braided cable with a clear braiding over it it is rough um, it does have the spring on there but i don't i mean i don't see that the spring is for aesthetics i mean if you have one micro usb cable you it doesn't really matter so this is just getting tossed into the bin of cables that sits behind me and i'm not finding as many as the micro usbs but the color is really good on here it is an aluminum body the fit and finish on here is really great i have intentionally dropped this a couple of times and it's got a couple scratches but no actual nicks on it looking if you can see on each side there's a hole like right here and right here and that's where the airflow is going to come in through the pod and up you have your led light right here and of course you got v folk down here on the bottom like i said this color is a really nice color taking a look at the pods of course these are five percent nicotine which equates to about 50 milligram in salt nick here is your instructions your california warnings all of that good stuff and of course these have been open each pod has a, a little rubberized or silicone piece that goes over it for keeping out dust while it's in your pocket though personally i lose it within about four seconds so but it's nice that those are included uh these come in a nice sealed package on the bottom of each one you get a color for the flavor so this one is mint mango coffee and tobacco i'm not sure if if these are expiration dates that are on each one of these pods the numbers are the same but the lettering is different and you can kind of see inside there's a gasket here you can see the element down here in the bottom on the back side it does say film on inside f-e-e-l-m and like i said uh dj lsv vapes did a great breakdown on uh, one of the older systems that he got as a trial and it may even been the same company on how these end up working uh, you can see the liquid actually moves around in there as someone that smokes 100 lights uh, i find it very satisfying of you know two or three toots on it and then and then i'm done i put it away and i move on with with my life now the pods just easily a pop in there are magnets which attach to these points right here there's a magnet over on this side this side then you have your negative and positive on there doesn't matter which way it ends up going in there now there is some wiggle room as far as the pod you'll find yourself kind of messing with it and doing this I, at least i do if you're a fidgeter um, i've never had the pod fall out accidentally but it's not in there like super super tight 
you can you can easily do this and and i do i find myself like when i'm talking to someone doing this but i'm a fidgeter now i'm going to do the best to describe the flavors as far as i end up catching them this one that i have in here right now is the mango the mango has a menthol backing on it you catch it on the exhale it can be sharp if you're not expecting it I'm not a mango fan, but I actually found myself really enjoying, really enjoying the flavor on this one. And I think it's because there's the combo with the menthol in there. I just find it very satisfying. The next one is the mint or menthol. And it's exactly what it says. It's just straight up menthol. And it's, if you're a menthol smoker, you're gonna love this one. Uh, this reminds me of like uh, the Salem 100 menthols. Uh, my mother used to end up smoking and I used to steal from and that's exactly what this one ends up tasting like the coffee one Everyone has said that they have loved it that I've seen other people do reviews on I'm not real keen on it. Now. Here's the thing the smell that is left smells like a freshly brewed cup of Starbucks coffee with some creamer in it and it's just sitting there and it has a nice aroma with just maybe a hint of chocolate in it. The flavor on the other hand to me it tastes like uh, if you've ever chewed on a coffee bean. Um, that's what it ends up tasting like. It, it kind of tastes like you put a coffee bean in your mouth. Um, I'm not real keen on that flavor. I've but coffees are really hard to come by and I'm not a real big just straight up coffee fan. I, I like a lot of sweetener in mine. So um, if you really like coffee and you like the flavor and the aroma of coffee beans, that's what you're going to get with this one and you're going to enjoy it. The tobacco, I've heard people say that it tastes like a Virginia tobacco. And when I say tobacco, I don't mean like a cigarette. It's going to be more like pipe tobacco, like traditional uh, ground up tobacco that you end up smoking in a pipe. And it does end up tasting like that. Uh, my grandfather used to smoke a pipe and, and that's what it smells like. And that's kind of what it ends up tasting like. So if you're a tobacco fan, you're going to enjoy this one. That's going to be all of your flavors and everything. I hope you enjoyed this close up look. We're going to pop back out and close out this video. All right, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed that close up look and this review all the way around. If you did hit that like button, there will be a link down below to V folk to be able to check these out. I believe they go live actually on the website or at least the pods on Tuesday, the eighth or Monday, the eighth all depends. I was told the eighth on one thing, but Tuesday in the same sentence. So didn't quite make much sense, but I think for the cost, I think it's 36, it's $25 for the actual unit itself. Um, you can get a starter pack that has two pods with it. And I think that is $36 for the two pods. It ends up being about 10 something uh, for a two pods setup, which they're claiming each pod equals about two packs of cigarettes. Everybody's a little bit different. If you're just coming from smoking and you're and you're doing something like uh, Marlboro Reds, you, you may go through a little bit faster. But if you're coming from uh, 100 lights, things like that, uh, one pod may last you a little bit longer. One thing I did end up really liking is I've been using the same charge on here for about three days and it hasn't gone dead. I fully charged it up. Uh, one little problem that I found was it says in there that the LED changes color depending on the charge strength. And the only time that I noticed it change in the color was when it went from charging to full. It went from white to green and that's it. It has never changed color to indicate that it's dead and it hasn't seemed to die yet. This is not a cloud machine. It's not meant to be a cloud machine. It's supposed to be a cessation machine to break you from the habit and mostly for the, the habit of wanting to reach for that cigarette. Um, I find it very comfortable if you're talking to someone holding it like you would a cigarette or a cigar. It's just very comfortable with that. It's discreet. You can uh, sneak a vape with it. Just watch your holes that are here on the side. I was kind of disappointed that the pods, uh, I was told right away that the pods are non-refillable, though I'm sure someone will find a way to do that. Uh, I did end up watching uh, DJLS v Vapes uh, did a video on the film. Um, he broke one of the pods apart on a older version and uh, found them to be very, uh, very maintainable and very long lasting. So that's a good thing. 
and uh i don't know i know that the technology that they're using for the film um burner system in these has been around for a while so i'm wondering if the parent company that started in 2016 is the one that designed the film uh process and then they've finally come out with this product hope you guys all enjoyed that review and as usual there will be a link down in, in the description to be able to go to the website and check it out themselves everything i believe goes live on the 8th so definitely check it out on that at that time and thanks for hanging out with me i will see you guys all peace out youtube Thank you.